Yes, indeed. I hope you are well. That's what you get for gossiping, Adam, at the start and not really listening to what was going on. Uh, I hope you are well. Uh, it's four o'clock, which can only mean one thing. It's final call. Yes, you heard me correctly. Final call. What is final call? It's your last opportunity to get your one day special. Will it run till six o'clock? Yes, it does run till six o'clock. But if you're anything like me, you'll watch the hour, then you'll forget it again and you'll go, oh, I missed out. So if you want it, I'd get it quick. Now I know uh, the same lady still going on the social medias about it's a cliche of shopping telly terms to say it's been busy, but it has. We have been very busy for a one day special. It's the very first uh, one day special, sort of for me as well to join in with. For the sheer fact you are getting value for money tenfold on this one. You really, really are. You are getting your one day special, which are your 30 um, micro magic palettes that you've got in there with all 30 get. Now we are 80% of the stock has already gone uh, with that already. But you get the 30 colors in there. Now what are they? If I told you just using these powders and them alone, well they're not technically powders, but they are. We'll get to all that in a minute. You can go on to white card, well, which is a standard, it's a given, to be honest. Uh, you can go on to black card. Oh yeah, but it'll dull them down. No, it's the same colour that you wanted to go on there. You can pick up your embossing. Yeah, you can do that as well. You can go on to MDF and wood. Yeah, you could, you could do all that as well, uh, should you want to do that. And it's going to be the same colour that you looked at time and time again is what we're going on with these. So you're going to get the same colours, which I absolutely adore. Not only do we have your one day special, I've sort of got a bigger one day special, uh, the bigger bundle. Now, most people have been going for the bigger bundle. 85% of the stock has already gone here. You're going to get your 30 colours and you're also going to get 40 daubers on that as well is what you are looking at on these. You're also going to get your 40 daubers, which means you've got one for every colour and then you've also got 10 spare. So why go out and buy your inks and then buy your daubers separately? It might as well go for them together but you have got the option to go for the colours on their own. That big bundle, the details, 628333 is your item number, £42.47 across the board. As it is over that £30 mark though, uh, use PayPal and split it into the cost of three. Why pay? £42.47 when you can use PayPal. If you're not a PayPal member, all the terms and conditions are on the website. It's worth having a little look. Now, we'll introduce John, and then I'm going to tell you about this happy hour as well. Because you can just see, look, just in the corner of your screen. There he little is, look. There he is. Uh, it is his last and final hour for today <laughs> and today only. Uh, he will be back in a couple of weeks' time. I think I've got a one-day special Sunday. with you. Sunday, yes. I've got my um, first Lockers Cross 2. Oh, I'm there, two of hours, the me year, and you. Two hours, yes. Me and you, Sunday, all about it is. die cutting. So, all about die cutting, die cutting basics. Because I think so many people will have got a machine for Christmas, got themselves a Kaleido or a Go Power or something. So, I'm going to be trying to go back to basics and teach people things like that. So, any questions, fire them into me or the channel next Sunday. Do it on Sunday. But then, on the flip side of that, these would work perfectly with your die cuts because you could edge with these, these as well. These work brilliantly with die cuts because, again, the, the frame that we took earlier, the one on the back with the blue, it shows you how well it works on die cuts. This is just one colour. This is from Sam. So this is literally just one single colour from the colours. But there she's put it on a die cut flower. There she's put it on foam flowers. There she's put it onto a butterfly. There it's on the background, just onto the canvas. There it's onto the plastic frame, which is a La Blanche. There it's onto a die cut shape. There it's onto another butterfly. All of that's with one colour. All that pearl look. Everything on that canvas was white. That's the thing. Absolutely it was literally everything all these colours. was white. Which I adore. So you do that now 30 times. You've got 30 different projects straight off the you've bat. Got, you could do that in 30 different colours because it's just using one. But yeah, it's perfect with your die cuts. Uh, so we'll go through <laughs> the details of these in a minute with your, just in more detail. OK, but there's one more thing I want to show you. I left it 20 minutes last time this morning, uh, but I'm not going to do that. It's a happy hour. Now, 10 percent of this box has already gone. You don't even know the contents of the box, uh, which is what I like about you people. You are chapeau savvy. Uh, but if I open the box, you are getting a but now this is how it will come to you. OK, now cut. Contents will vary? Contents may vary, yep. These have all been pre-packed, so again, this is not one that's been made for telly. They literally pulled one out of the pile that the Linda had packed between Christmas and New Year, bless her. But there are so many embellishments in there, some that were like two, three pound on their own. But you've got these. flowers, you've got hats, you've got gems, you've got pearls, 
you've got stickers, you've got charms, you, you, there's some ribbon things in that. There's everything you could possibly need. Oh, they're pretty. They're little cute. Look at them. Little bit. Looks like Elsa there in the blue dress. Yeah. It's not. But you're getting so out. many embellishments. It's worth it just like to, it. just for the sort of packets of gems that are in there. It's worth it. It's crazy. It really, there's so much. As and I mean, like if I dig to the bottom. Oh, Adam, you're making such a mess. Uh, look, think like this. There's That's all a handmade cards, paper pack. Um, like a full-on paper pack in there. <laughs> uh, all this, 10% of the stock has already gone, is what you are looking at for this as well. I will pick all this up in a moment, so do not fear. 10%, uh, 15% now of the stock has already gone. Uh, for 9 99 it should be 39 99 You're saving £30. Uh, it is. It's going to be exciting to open your box. When it lands on your mat, pop it in Pete, we'll pop it through the door, it'll land with a thud, no doubt. You can whip off the packaging, whip it open, and start crafting straight away. Everything you will need, a crafting goodness. Also, good stock builder and a good bottom drawer gift as well, if you're going to gift it. 101846 is your item number. Let's get back to our Magic Micers, though, because that's what it is, not Magic Mike. These are your Magic Micers. For the sheer fact, they will make things arise, I'm sure. Uh, in what way, though, will they arise? Well, the, the thing is with Mike and Magic is, and I've, I've explained a lot of the science and everything else about it, but effectively what you've got is 30 colours, 30 yeah. new colours. They're not repeats of any that we've done previously. So you've got 30 colours in two sets, if you get both of them. Easy open lid, easy close, easy storage, which I love, because these can sit out on my desk, they take no space. But in literally a couple of seconds you're open. But you've now got 30 colours of pearlised metallic finish almost that will go on your embossing folders and colour your embossing folders. I love that. Yeah? That will go straight onto black and give you... I mean, can you imagine that pop of colour? That's not... I love I mean, that. And though. again, this is my, one of my favourite ways to do this. But look, just very quickly, I'm going to take blue and I'm going to blue that flower. And that's on black. Blue on black doesn't work. But it's a real blue. But it's, it's a real, true blue. blue because of the mica in there. We've got it here, straight onto wood, and then stamped over with VersaFine. And look at the detail. Straight onto a piece of blank wood. Yeah, we did that this morning. So straight hour. onto there, it will work on concrete, stone. This is plastic. This was a plastic oh. Ali Reeve cast, like um, 3D printed. Yeah. So this was a 3D printed clock. Look at all the different colours and detail. Look, that's what it was. That's it's literally ridiculous. what it was. Again, onto wood, create patterns and pictures and colours. But look at the sheen. And that was straight onto a piece of MDF. That's the colours on the back. We can go onto vellum. Oh so that's been foiled word. with the Kaleido on top. But look at the colours in the vellum there. You would see them better if I got some white card behind it. But I'm not sensible enough to have that prepped. There we go. So you've now made your own oh. rainbow coloured vellum. This has actually been mica magic and then it's been foiled with the Kaleido over the top. Now this was a card that we had made, was this one we made this morning? We, we made, this, made this, this morning, morning. we yeah, made this one this, this morning. We this morning, live, but once again. That, that's fantastic, but what about, what other things can I do? Well, I've said that I can, you can do it onto concrete, you can do it yeah. onto wood, you can do it onto MDF, you can do it straight onto vellum, you can do it onto card, you can do it onto paper, but you can also do it onto plastic, you can do it onto your resin cast shapes. I'm going to be showing you again in this hour because so many people ask how it works. That's literally straight into the mould onto white resin poured in, but non moved it's whatsoever. So you can see there, but then I've added colour on top. Or look at the intensity of that B. Now, that. I would think in resin, if I looked at this on, at home and I'm watching it on TV, I would think, right, that is a bright coloured yellow resin. Resin. Hmm. No, it's not, it was white. All we've done is put mica into the mould first and then pour white resin on top and look, no resin moves over. There's none come through. I d I really none do whatsoever. Think. Yeah. Um, again, here, done, done with green. But it's on white resin. But then it's got mica magic on top of it. So there's all these different things you can do. Again, you know, on black card and then emboss it. But that sheen and shine, you, and as I say, the closest thing to this is a gilding wax or polish to me. But this does a lot, lot more because you couldn't put a gilding wax into a mould no, and couldn't. the resin pick it up. But you would not have, and you, I couldn't afford, 30 colours. 
Well, not I'm even, gilding wax. It's not and even I wouldn't that. want to open 30 pots. How would you get, if with your gilding wax, and if you can answer the question, please email in now, mm. studio at the craft at heart, because I would genuinely love to know, and I think, um, I think I'd, I'd ask our Catherine exactly the same question. You've seen John's resin pours here, and we're going to do more this hour as well, and we'll demold them this hour so that you know there's no TV trickery. But how would you get that colour in the background and then get the colour on top? For example, is this perfume bottle done? Yes. Yes. So, that is done in white. We know that because that's our good old Zuri moulds. We've got a mould on the show as well. If you want the perfume bottles, they are on the show. So normally you put, you cast in white or cast in black and you enhance. So you take your mica and then you put it over the top and you enhance it. Like the packaging you see on the Zuri moulds. They do it in clear and then they put the silver over the top. How do you get the purple in the background and then over the top with a gold? Well, there's technically no way of doing that. There no. is no way unless you change the colour of the resin, and these have been cast in white resin. Exactly. I mean, if you look at this piece, I'll give you this one here. That's got over 15 different colours in it. So this has been cast and then it's been put, added on top. Now, right. if I'd added... 15 different colours onto a piece of resin. Like this. How thick would it be, be with a gloopy thing? How would it... I mean, if you rub gilding wax over that middle bit that's like a cheese grater, yeah. can you imagine it's going to get stuck pitted in every one? But if you look carefully, you'll see every point on that is gold because I've gone over with Mica Magic and it's just touched the top of the gold. So every single one of them is gold, but you've got yellow in there, I see purple in there, I see red in there. You've got all these uh, silver bits around the edge, which, okay, fair enough, that's what you do once you've done it. But how would you get the background colours? How would you get that to be green with white tips at the end and then gold on the bottle? There is no other way of doing it. And whatever the Micro Magic touches, that's what it's going to change the colour of. I was in the studio when John did it on the lid of the uh, Kaleido. He didn't think it was going to stick, nope. <laughs> it did. Uh, and it stuck on the top of the glider lid. Whatever it sticks to, it will stick to. Uh, we've had a question in from Susan. Thank you, Susan. Would it be possible to ask John, what is the possible, what is the best way to apply Micromagic? I'll only be using it on card and flower foam. Well, you're in, you're, you're in store, you're in the right place, because I can ask him that question. I'm not going to, but you're in the right <laughs> place. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, no, how would you apply it to card and card? Uh, flower foam. Do daubers. Daubers. Daubers are your best bet for... This is why you need to have the daubers for this, and I'm gonna, I'll show you. What I've got here is, because I thought, I keep showing you on white and black, here's the piece of craft card that I've literally just embossed with one of the folders we've got on the show. Okay. Yeah. If you want to apply it to that, choose your colour. I mean, let, I tell you what, let's go with pink, because I wouldn't... Pink won't work on brown, will it? Not really, shouldn't no, do. No, shouldn't do. Get it on your dauber, raise it on, pink. Oh, look at this. So this is how you would do it onto paper or card. So I would go like a base layer and I don't know why I've got this thing at the moment about doing this. Of going through. Now the reason I said about having your own daubers is if you use the daubers you've used for ink they pop. This is one that popped earlier. Oh, okay. And they're literally Something happens and it makes them pop off. Oh. Don't know why. They either mushroom out and pop out or they pop off. So you keep a separate one. But again, you just apply it like this. So if you think about it, can you imagine trying to put a dauber into gilding wax? No, oh, you never did. You would never. Because it's the heat of your finger that makes it work. With this, you, if you don't want to, if you're one of those people who does not like touching products, Mm. And you're like me, you do not wash brushes and things. So you try not to use them because Sam gets annoyed when you throw them in the sink and expect them to come back perfect. <laughs> hasn't and he hasn't clicked that they've sat there for three days and you know, you know, he would that wouldn't get away with it. You never have to touch the product at all. So you never actually have to have any anywhere near you. If you want to do finer detail, if you notice I'm going same I'm door but just about to say, I don't know if you've noticed at home and who was that email from Susan? Susan, I don't know if you've noticed, well, the daubers are the way to go, and thank you for your email, it's very much appreciated. I was only joking. You buy them in a bundle or you buy them on their own. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but uh, John's not changed his dauber. And there is no, in that palette that's right under that bottom banner at the moment, that palette there, there is no cross-contamination. He went from the dark blue, I'll go from the blue. to the light blue, so and the then he blue. went from the light blue to the yellow. No yellow in it, yeah, from the yellow, it. okay. I'm going to use the blue there, yeah. I'm going to take that blue dauber straight into the yellow, Watch the yellow. I feel like a magician. Watch the yellow. Yeah, watch, watch the, the yellow. yellow. Watch the yellow. It's all on the no yellow. No blue in it at all. 
And oh, trust yeah, me, the TV camera would really pick up if there was even a fleck Good of it. Good question, But Ross. look. Good question. This is yellow. There's no blue in that yellow. Did you hear that question? No, then? I didn't. Sorry. Um, so that well, it's all well and good going from colour to colour. But how about going from the colour to the white? That's oh, gonna, that's yes, so, sorry. Surely that's going to cross-contaminate. OK, so let's go with... Let's make this one a little bit more purpley. This goes wrong, it's Ross. Here. Yeah, OK. So I've got purple on there. Yeah, this is it. We've got yeah, this. this. I'm going to go into the white live. now. There's the white. Still white. Still white. Here's the white. Yeah. On top of that blue. So it's still no so cross that's how I would apply it. And the same if I got a flower. I've actually got... This is not flower foam, but this is one of... Um, I'll pretty get Lynette's, Lynette's. Lynette's Gritty's flowers. Yeah. So I want this to be tipped in blue. So take your door, but hold it in the air. Is this the same with flower foam? Yes. We do exactly, so we, exactly uh, Susan, the same. this is the same way you do these. So I can then tip, and there's, look, it's blue. I want it a bit more blue, so I'm going to scrib that into the middle. Don't worry about the middle, I'm going to correct that. I'm going to go into a little bit of purple and just tip the edges, but it adds nothing on. I'm going to go straight in, same dauber, mm -hmm. into the yellow again, and I'm going to put the yellow back in the middle. Look at that from white, so that's how you do it. The other way to apply it on paper and card, this is where I'm going to switch into the winter set, is I've got that, and I mean, you would never think that that is made on craft card. No, you wouldn't. you think, I've, I've used a piece of card and coloured the back. No, trust me, it's craft card. But what I want to do now is I want to bring some of these out. So this is where, if I want more detail, I would use my finger. So I'm going to go in for this sort of like titanium-y silver white and I can start to add that on top. And that gives me that little bit more almost control. So Love when I'm that. using my finger, I'm altering the pressure a little bit so I can go more for what's... Well, you're picking up more of the embossed rather than the actual rather card than the in whole the background. Card, yeah, because I'm picking up... There we go. I can use my little finger to take that out. So you can see there when I hold this one up there now, suddenly I've taken them to silver. And if I want to do just so the deboss, turn on to the other side again, use my finger, that's where I can get the lightest look. Here's me using colours that don't show as well, but there you go. So if I want to build up a coat, I would use my finger on that. And you see there, when I hold this one up, you see? You just get it doesn't coat as much. So the daubers are the way to go in terms of paper or card, I would really say, and that's what we do it for. There you go, Susan. I hope that's answered your question. Now, Susan, so you've opened the floodgates now, which is what I like. We've had another question from our Barbara. Uh, Barbara Gray, apparently. Uh, no, it's not really. Oh, I, I missed... Wah, 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 wah. I'm, I missed all of that. Start that again for me. Are they the same composition as the previous micas? There you go. That, that was the question. And can I do all the questions Johnny's doing now with my previous ones? You should be able to. But we haven't tested them. OK. Because one of my palettes, I've so hammered, I don't have enough left and we're sold out. Oh. So we haven't tested them. We've tested the new ones with this. They haven't changed the formulation much at all. So it's, it's only that they've been pressed a little bit more um, in terms of binders. So you should be able to. Give it a go. Give it a go. I see absolutely no reason. All the micas work the same way. So I see no reason why you couldn't do, because I'm going to, I'll do this in here now. I'm going to go with red at the top. So try it. There's no reason why it won't work. I would never say, oh, you need to buy a new one because, mm. because this is done. You're All we did was, with this one, I just oh. said, can you make sure that the formulation, that it has got a really good, it's really good in binding because I really need it to work with the moulds because Sam's got, in, and it's selfish, it's because Sam's got into the moulds. But there is no reason they won't, honestly. Uh, so there, uh, give it a go, Barbara, is yeah. what I'm going to say. Give it a go. You're not, you're not going to waste anything, Barbara. Let's put it that way. And uh, they will come these. off. They will, you know, if it doesn't. But I think, um, has, can I ask Sam, has, have you tried it with the older ones? Yeah, I think it does. Yes, yep. Sam's Sam tried it. Nod. Was it with the metallics? Yeah. yeah, he tried it with the metallics first, which was the last release. So, yes, it does work with those. 
He stuck his thumb, I think it was his thumb anyway, to be honest, he's got a glove on. Uh, right, if you want uh, the, if you want the mould that I've got now, I've also got this on the show, uh, bottom of the screen. So these will work in your moulds, and we've showed you how it works before. This is literally gonna sort of encapsulate onto the front of whatever you put in there. So if I, I know we're using resin, but if I used polymer clay, for example, if I used air dry clay and yep. I did exactly the same technique, so I got my air dry clay, popped it in there, would it still work the same? It will pick it up. I don't think air dry clay picks quite as much up okay. from it. Good to know. Um, but there is an exact, lots of examples where they've been done, used on top of air dry clay. So what I would do is, say with the box you've That's got air there, dry clay. I would do it into the mould like this, the, if you've got a mould like this one Adam's used here, and then all you do is put more on top to gild it. So that looking sense. at that, I think she has done the same technique. But yeah, it will work in a very, very similar way. Um, we've got one here. I'm pressing that and there's glass on the front. This, the is, this is Jessonite. Oh, I like this one. You know the one that feels like porcelain? Look at that. Straight into the mould. You turn that over, it's that's gray. the grey Jessonite. That and you could wash that and scrub that. And oh, Sam yeah. did exactly the same of pouring it into the mould, then pouring the gestamite onto it. So it'll work with plaster. I'd like four it'll of them for my garden. Yeah. Just say, just put my order in now, just say. Uh, £42, not for this, uh, £42 for your one-day special. And also, if I put that there, no one will ever notice. Uh, just need another three now, Sam, that's all I need. Uh, so you've got your one-day special and 40 dubbers, but let's get on to the moulds, because I want this. To, I want to demould it before the end of the hour. Uh, this is your Zuri mould, so you've put them straight in yeah. to your mould. So I've put it straight in. Now what's happened is with this one, because I'm going to show you slightly differently this time. Okay. So Sam's already done this one, and what he's done is, I'll show you on this one here, the, these are solid, these are a cream. I keep saying this, but I go on with the red. Okay, and you see on my finger, that's like a cream. Yeah. Yeah? If I go at it with a brush, I pick it up as powder. It's so weird. It shouldn't do that. See, that's what that so, what baffles me. With using these. the powder means, like that, just picking it up with a brush, going in, means it gets into all the cooks and nannies, sorry, nooks and crannies, <laughs> and it gets into <laughs> everywhere. Okay, like that. So then I can, that's almost like your basic coating, and there I can go in with gold. And remember, whatever is down first is what will be on top, oh. yeah? So that will actually be a goldy colour, OK? With this one, what I've done is I've just used my finger, OK? So can you see in there, I hope you can, little bits of the colour original? Yeah. They will come out white. OK. So I will then be able to colour those afterwards. But if you can see here, I love this one. But if I want that heart to, say, be red, if I do that now, it won't make a difference because it's underneath. Uh, so it has to be, on. it's the first colours on. But when this cup comes out, I'm going to show you how I can actually alter it by putting more on top. That's what's so fascinating about it. So, pop that on my board. So we hand that over to Magic Hands. Hand over to Magic Hands, Sam. Um, and I, I, re I felt it was really important of rather than me just saying, look, it works yeah, no, on it's resin, it's worth and trust me, we, we went and bought more of the quick resin so that we can actually show you live on the show how it actually works and demoulds. So this is what we've done, as you said earlier, this has been done just with green colour in it. But again, that already looks more like a 3D. It does. It, it looks so much better. Um, but I can again work on this, so if I want to, I can say, right, well, it would have a gold top, wouldn't it? And look. Suddenly now, can you see? I'll hold that one up. Can you see the gold points? I like the green in the background with the gold. There's no other way of doing this. That suddenly starts to look so aged, but there's nothing on there. No, there's that's... nothing, when you look at it, because I'm going to do the cheese grater next. So let's just put a little bit more gold on. So I'm going to put a little bit more gold on there, sweep it across, because obviously I'm, you know, this is going to be lauded in the gold. Now, what I'm going to do is get a little bit of red mm -hmm. and I'm going over that, but watch. See how it only picks up on the points? I'm hoping you can see that. When I hold it up, you will. If I hold it up, see that? Just the tips of them points, look. Just the tips of those points suddenly are red. Looks like teas and okay. stars. I love this. So then I'm going to take a little bit of gold and go over the top. And the reason I've gone red first is, you know when you gild a mirror, they always paint it red first, then put glue on, then put the gold on, and the red makes the sh gold shine more. 
Oh. So it's always one of those little tricks. So I'm just going to put a little bit of gold on, and you'll see the gold there will shine that little bit more. So let's say, let's age it with a little bit of silver. This top might be going a bit off. So a little bit of green, a little bit of red, a little bit of copper. But you can see suddenly, with my finger, how I can take what was a beautiful green colour, but suddenly really build it up. And I'm going to show you another one in a second. Um, when I use it with gesso, which is the difference. But now I feel if you're into so. model making, if you're into clay, uh, if you're into your resins, if you're into your card making, your woodwork, so it's all going to work. Oh, hold that one up. Look at that now. It's got an even more 3D feel to it. It's got a really aged feel to it. And again, the thing is, if you say wanted to pour some clear resin over that to give that area there like a yes. shine, that won't move. The resin, that will not connect with the resin and move and pull it's out. It's already down. Because it's down and it's already stuck down. That's how it works in the mould. But I can just, I could keep playing, but to be honest, that is I all I need. Let's stick that on an old style background. See, that works. Sentiment on there. You've got yourself yeah. a, that is, well, it's beautiful. Look at him. Ooh, that flower's a bit bright. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just change it, shall I? And um, we'll get some gold. Actually, what am I doing? I need to use the dauber, really, to completely coat it. So I'm going to age that flower, which is another one that I managed to nick from Lynette's from Pretty Gets Gritty. A little bit of silver. But suddenly, there, I've also aged that flower. But there you go. See? And all that... But that... It was white was white so it's poured in okay it's one of these things that i feel it's a gift that keeps on giving and there's not many of those things these days let's be fair uh, it is the gift that keeps on giving because you will always find it's something that you can use it with now we are approaching limited stock on the big bundle we are approaching big limited stock on that big bundle uh, is what you are looking at now. So the 30 colours and your 40 daubers uh, that you're going to get in there, you're going to have 10 daubers spare, to be honest, because there's only 30 colours. Um, you can't really cross-contaminate with these as well. But it's worth getting in the habit of having a dauber per colour, and then you'll have 10 to play with. 628333 is your item number. Something else that I need to tell you about now, 50% uh, of my happy hour has already gone. You are looking at an assorted box. Uh, contents will vary, uh, but this was my one. This is not made just for the telly. This was just one that was randomly picked off the shelf, to be honest, uh, that you're going to get in there. Uh, so you're getting a value of third, basically £40 worth uh, is what you've got in. Where are them little dolls gone? If not a lot more, to be fair. Well, I thought it looked more We're being very conservative boy, with that, the uh, So you're getting things like this. Now, obviously, you may not get what I've got here, uh, but you'll get something along the lines of uh, pearls and gems. Could we change the colours of gems with Micromagic if you wanted to? They are, I've found them to be a little bit too shiny. Okay, that's good to know. They're, they're a little bit too plasticky and I think, the thing is, yeah, we've, alcohol pens will do that. Alcohol pens will do that a lot, lot easier. So don't try and reinvent it, you oh, know, to mean something that works, is, would always be my saying on it. Uh, little hearts, Valentine's Day is only around the corner. Uh, you're getting uh, more of sort of your rickrack. Uh, that's in there. There is so much in this bundle uh, that's in there. Uh, very, very busy for this. Now, 50% of the stock has already gone. Um, and it only lasts the hour, and then the price will go back up. Something else I quickly want to show you before we go back. Uh, brand new items uh, is what I'm going to show you now. Uh, these are your embossing folders uh, that we've got. I will show you the board because it shows it all beautifully on black and also uh, in the white uh, using your one-day special that you've got on there. Now, three quarters of the stock now has already gone. You've got time, you've got cogs, and you've also got writing. Uh, once again, these, I love the writing one because that could be used for anything. You'll, you'll see this, this pops up and I think on um, the samples for the collection that I've got coming out in February, my first John Next Door collection of this year, I've used the writing and I think the time on the packaging samples for those. I love it. Because I just love them. These, are, these have definitely been what I've been using for my 2022 stuff early rage. Love this as well. This could be babies, this could be, you could go really uh, grungy with this or you could go quite pretty. There's one on uh, Vellum I did earlier well. with the Micro Magic. How pretty does it look? Look at the difference on I the I mean, on vellum. that one, congratulations on your baby would work so well. Just pinned in each corner on the vellum would look beautiful. Love these. £19.99 uh, is what you're looking at for these ones. Worth having a little look if I was you. Uh, then the next one 
Uh, you're loving this as well. 70% uh, of the stock has already gone. Uh, I'll show you the board first, then I'll show you that sample. That sample's quite cute. Uh, you've got the beautiful flowers uh, that we worked on this morning once again using the little one day special that I've got on the show as well. Um, I like this, I love this frame. How beautiful is that frame that you got there? Quite stardust-esque, but you imagine this on an envelope or an invitation, you are invited, congratulations. You wouldn't need much for this to make it look jazzy than it actually is. You really, really wouldn't, absolutely beautiful. Then using, look at that, using your Kaleido, that I've also got on the show. Very busy uh, for the Kaleido now as well. I think the penny's slowly dropping because you can use your Kaleido uh, with your one day special. Uh, brand new stencils is what you are looking at here. 24 pounds and 98 pence. 109570 is your item number for those. I've got loads more on the show. I've got the Kaleido on the show as well. Check out the website, tap the app is the quickest way to go. We've had another question coming in for the micers. This is from Wendy, morning, a afternoon Wendy, hope you're well. Can you stamp and colour and then stamp over the Craft Micah background? Yes. 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 I'm glad you understood that. I've got a friend Janet who does that. You can stamp a stamp, colour it with the Micah Magic to get it in the areas you want. Yeah. And then re-stamp over it again just with Versafine. It is, the product is neutral. Oh. So there is no solvent in there. There's no wax in there. The, there's nothing in there that's actually will s that will make any of the ink resist or anything. So certainly I could, I could stamp down that meadow scene. Mm -hmm. So I've got a meadow scene here. I could stamp that. I could colour it in with the micro all over, blob it all over, and then I could go back and re-stamp it in the same really place nice. to give that detail back on top again. Like you do with two different layers. You stress oxides and you put water in it, make it all yeah. blurry, and then you go back yeah, in again exactly, when it's dry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can do you. all of those because it is completely neutral. This is how. I mean, that was done I like that. straight onto wood. I mean, if I hold it up, you'll see better. Straight onto a piece of wood. That was just coloured in the mica, but that is black Versafine stamped over the top. So you get the details. I mean, I keep looking to the right of me and seeing Julia setting up. But this thinking, you know, you can make some really hugs. wild mica matcha backgrounds and then stamp the fairy hooks onto it. That would, be nice. that would really, really work because you'd get all that detail still shows and on yes. your own made pearlized backgrounds. So certainly with that, something would work really well. And you get the sparkle and shine as well. You, you would get, you the, get sparkle all the sparkle and shine, and shine, which you wouldn't get with a normal ink. Worth having a little look, worth having a little go. £42, £47 for the big bundle. We are now limited stock. We're green on screen, which means you're very, very keen. This is your final call. This is your last live hour before the price goes back up at 6 o'clock. So in theory, when you see little Julia Watts' face, this is gone. <laughs> Technically, that's how we work. When you see little Julia Watts, this is now gone. This deal will be no <laughs> longer. So if you want to get your £4.50 off, technically £7.50 is what you're looking at on this one. It's worth having a little go. Right, let's get more demos in this hour. What are we up to now? Right. <coughs> well, I haven't used the stencils. Okay. And I want to show you how we can go through stencils with it. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to use my Kaleido again, but I know it works. This is, this is a thing. So this, I am going to use one thing that doesn't come with it. So I always get this wrong and I have to try and remember. So with the Kaleido, you get a base plate, a 5 mil plate, and two 3 mil plates. But you only use one of the 2 mil plate, mm -hmm. 3 mil plates normally for most things. Now, what I always say is keep one clean for foiling. I don't, no. obviously. I've had to get some more, because the 3 mil plates are back in stock on the craft store. They did sell out, and I know people were desperate for them, because, of course, you can use two 3 mil plates through the Kaleido or through your GoPower and Emboss to cut your Sizzix Big dies or your Spellbinder Platinum Deep Dish dies. Oh. You just need two of those to it cut works. it, so it's really worth it. So, this time I'm gonna put the three mil down. This is the Crafts 2 Hot Glue Mat. This is a thin piece of silicon, basically. I know we've had these on before, they might be on end of call, but I'm just gonna put my stencil over the top, and I'm gonna put a three mil plate on top. So effectively, instead of having a base five and a three, I've got a base, a three, a three, and something in the middle. And watch this not work now, just to annoy me. <laughs> this one I always get wrong. So I go through and I can feel there's not a lot of resistance. Okay. Yeah. And I'm wanting to create more resistance. But obviously, I'll show you what happens if I swap in and put a five in. This now is becoming very thick. And so watch if it even engages. No. 
it won't engage. So if, if it's you get too that, thick, it doesn't engage. If it's too thick, it doesn't engage. So I would use my metal shim just to add a little bit more pressure in. Okay. And if you can, if you want to, you can use sort of take you know another piece of card and put that in. You're just trying to increase it, and all you're trying to do is to make effectively the card get pushed through. There we go. Come on. Play for me. No, too much. Take the card out. Every time I try and do this, I mess it up somehow. No, but... It's I only when I'm with you, Adam. Well, this is it's the same the problem. this morning. I had no it's problems with Janice um, at 2 o'clock today. This is good to see, though, for the sheer fact this is what happened with me the other day with my machine. Yeah. And it was too... It just wouldn't go through, and I didn't know what to do, and in the end, I just give up. No. Don't. Just reduce the pressure. If it doesn't cut, increase pressure. If it doesn't go through, reduce, reduce pressure. Reduce pressure. That's where I was going wrong. That's all you need to do. So now you can see it's given me a raised pattern, mm. which you, you're not going to be able to see. So oh, I can see it here. At home. So I'm just going to go and cut a little bit off into two pieces, yeah? Okay. So now I've made almost my own embossing folds. You can't see that, can you? No, you can't see nothing. But you will see it. Card. Look. When I start to go over very lightly. Now obviously I can see it too because I'm standing sort of next to John. But you with my mic and magic. See it there. there you go. Look, there it is. Ta da! Yeah, and I could again go right. Okay, so let's make those leaves silver. But the other benefit of doing this is smooth it over. You see there? What I can do is making sure this stays in place, which of course it hasn't. So. Let's put that down, just tape it, just to be secure. I should be using my magnetic base, but again, too much messing. I can even go through a stencil. And just by doing that, what actually happens is that it gives it, a, raises it up a little bit, and it means that you don't scratch these as much, but it gives you a little raise, it makes it look so much better. So now I'm going to go a little bit of copper through. So we've got a little bit of copper leaf. Don't move on me. Don't be mean to me. Well, I'm going to go in now with a bit of green to lighten it up. So randomly going over. OK. Um, oh, it's this tawny brown. Let's add a bit of that in. Again, around there. But then when I take that off, just take... Oops, I had one. There it is. My soft brush, just to brush off the excess that you see there. Oh, I like that. Uh, just a subtle background. You've got that beautiful raised leaf pattern. And again, you spend a little bit more time doing it, but it just works so well. So two different ways entirely to do it, using an emboss, just using a stencil to emboss worth having a little look at if you want to go for your collider machine because remember you can use an embossing machine as well you can use it as a die cutting machine and it's also your collider which also means it's your hot foiling machine all machines are in one big bundle it's back in stock the collider is here 49 pounds and 99 pence uh, three interest-free flexible payments i would say now now obviously uh, go where your budget will go to. I'm not going to poke or prod you in any way. You don't want to be poked and prodded. Uh, we do have a double hour on Sunday. Correct, John? We do. Two. Uh, two hours on Sunday, which we're going to go all back to basics about dies. And if you need a machine that's going to grow with you, that will be the machine to go for because it does so much more than you want it to do. But if you're just starting out, you think, well, I'll just go for the basics. No. Go for, go for what you can afford, but this machine will grow with you because it does everything you need to and more as well. Uh, let's go back to the micas though. Uh, remember, we're limited stock on the big bundle with the daubers, limited stock with your dauber bundle. Uh, you can still go for them individually. You can go for them as a pair as well, or you can throw them, uh, throw those daubers in as well. £42.47 is what you're looking at. Very, very busy uh, for all of 
those <laughs> is what you're going for. Right, and let's go back uh, to uh, John. Uh, what are you up to now? Oh, we did uh, decanting. Sam has, has demolded, has, has, has set it. Uh, and this is what I wanted to, you know, I genuinely, I know I've shown this on nearly every show, but I think it's really important to show we're not using any camera trickery or anything. That's true. And you know how many, we've used this mould now four times. We've done this four times over mm -hmm. the five hours with quick dry. So there's the yellow, Sam did. Look at that intensity that. of colour. White. None of that yellow has moved forward into no, it there. Sits on top as well. Okay. What did we do with this one? I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah. This one I dusted in with the brush that. very, very quickly. But if you want to pick out the details on the front of that, you could do, but you'd still get the sort of that but rusty copperless in the background. That's fixed, yeah. That's that. done. So this is the one Sam did. Remember I added the little bit of extra red in the heart, but you can hardly see it. No, you really can't. Just adds a little intensity because it's whatever you put in first. But I just... It sh I know that if this came out white, like this piece that we cast this morning from a circle, it, it just, I'm sorry, but to me that looks so boring. It and yeah, I can colour it, yes I can, but I can't get that patination, I can't get that fixed in there that I can doing it this way. And then the one I did where I left some areas to be white. This is the one you used your finger there on. There you go. So it's like, because I didn't actually dust it in, I've got white, but doesn't that look more realistic? Well, it does, and then you can go back and you can add to that. So I can go back to. and I can add to it. As I've done before, I'm going to just do it on this one very quickly. But I can go back in. Remember, I said I would add more red to that heart. Just taking my finger, because I feel I can get more detail picked up. And all I'm doing is taking and almost scrubbing it over. So I'm getting it really in. But now, look at that. I've completely altered the colour. But that's just as fixed and just as beautiful and shiny. I just, I genuinely cannot get over how, it how sturdy work. it is. And and yeah, it shouldn't work. But you see there's some, like, there's some little bits of powder, isn't yeah, there, there is. inside there. So dust it over, brush, and they're gone. When it's a powder, it's not going to stick. So it's supposed to be scrubbing it over. But I can take a little bit of gold. If our Catherine's watch, I'm sure and she gold. would put her order in by now. Um, she's got some. Oh, you see, our Catherine's got some already. See, I knew she'd be on the bandwagon. As soon here. as I told Catherine this was possible, she we did a little deal where. Um, oh, that's what you were in the car park. Oh, yes. I saw it from the back of a boot. Yeah. Drive by. So two I, I, I was into a able seat. to secure some for our yeah. Catherine. Oh, see. Um, because she's you know, locked down, she still gets the deals. Yeah. She still doesn't really... Yeah, unfortunately, though, it didn't extend the other way, so all the moulds we've been using, we've bought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's only gone one way. But again, that's I can Catherine, really... That's that Catherine for you, to oh, yeah. <laughs> But I can really alter and play with that. So suddenly, that would cost me a fortune as an embellishment. Well, it would. You buy something like that... Yeah. We're now sort of talking Le Blanche. Now. Let's, I'm going to throw you the are. name out there. Yeah. To get colourways and patterns that you're talking like this, you're going to need to go to the big names. You need to go up there with them. You wouldn't think for £42.47 pence you'd get 30 colours and the daubers to apply them as well. No, not at all. But well, you I could do looked, it yourself. And there is on the show, I know that you've got it on your website. Yes. Three colours of gilding wax, which has a lot more in it. Yes. Obviously, and is a gilding wax in a pot. But three colours of gilding wax were £27.98. There you go, look to go with to, to match in with the moulds um so basically that is of this offer that much yeah it is but we're getting that 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 oh and all them colours as well all of those as well take off the price of the daubers on top of all this that works out per colourway that you get there 75 pence per colour 70 and you've seen these are the same ones how long have you had these ones um i to be honest i opened a new set for the show Simply be well, no, because I left mine at home. But either or, I'm not even going to pretend. I was going to say because I got my first sam original yeah, samples, which I have, I them. Um, and uh, because I thought they were getting, uh, I'd used them a lot. No, it's because I left them at home in a big box full of all the prep demos I'd done. But you've done five live hours, hours. and we do a lot of demos. Yes, let's, but let's be fair, we do a lot of demos. Uh, they look hardly touched. Yeah, you can only see. I'm just about. I think the yellow, I'm just touched the bottom on one yeah. of them, that's it. But I've used that on absolutely everything.
And there is a lot and of stuff. There take. is a lot of stuff here that we've used. One said so you. They're going to last you an awful long time. Six two eight three 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 is your item on a limited stock on that big bundle. Now uh, is what we are. Uh, I've got to mention the happy hour again. My little pizza box. Uh, very busy. Two thirds of the stock has already gone on. Uh, my little papillon butterflies that's in there. Oh, look at me. Uh, your little um, scrapbook pages. Maybe it's going to be your decoupage, your bookmarks, your full collages. You're going to get that in there as well. Uh, this is where it gets awkward to hold. Uh, from there, you're going to get, you may get your little dollies. Love these. Look at those. They're like certain characters of princess form. I see Belle in there. I see <laughs> Elsa. Uh, Ariel? As well. I don't know, Life, I I don't know a lot of the princesses. Uh, yeah. You could colour them up. Go with your one day special. We could change the colours. Uh, we could change the colours of these and make them all red if we wanted to do that. How are you Queen finding something parts? different and new every time you go in there? You're just burying your throat. <laughs> there is only that. one box. We only I sent one in. As well, we honest. didn't actually send two in as you normally would. We just sent one in. Uh, so you're getting all of these. Oh, I don't know. We've not seen these yet either. Uh, so little handbag charms that you get in there. These have got some. They got some weight to them. Oh, they're metal, proper metal. They're charms. all metal. These ones are. These ones have got some. Well, look, listen. There's some weight to your wine bottles in there as well. There is so much. I love these. Uh, so much in uh, your boxes that you are getting, and much more as well. All of that. Uh, all of that and more who knows what will be in yours but whatever it will be it'll be a treat i can tell you uh, let me tell you the embossing folders as well they're very very busy these ones here 85% uh, of the embossing folder stock now has already gone. Uh, this is your uh, your times, your cogs, and your writing uh, in here. Let me show you some finished samples uh, this time, just so you can see uh, how we're all used. This is just used uh, in the background, but how beautiful! How beautiful! Look at that. So that's foiling with the Kaleido over the um, over the embossed surface as I showed you at the 12 at the 8am show this morning I love that then I've actually over the top of Mica Magic in the blue and green and then obviously I've, I've actually gilded the letters are actually cut out of um, a basic card and I've just coloured them again with the Mica Magic so all the colour on that is from that same with that even onto your vellums as well so if you've even got coloured vellums you could also change the colours of those you can change the colour of coloured vellum it goes if you over wanted the top. to go down so if you've got any vellums that you're using, you could really change. And so you want to make boxes and things, uh, you could change all those. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine one seven one nine five is your item, number, and you're going to get all three for just shy of twenty pounds. What's that? You're looking at two ten-pound notes. Two ten-pound notes today is going to get you four fivers. A hundred and what's that? Two hundred pennies. Two thousand pennies. No, it's 1,999 pennies. What's a penny between friends? <laughs> uh, right then, uh, let's get back to John for more demos. So it depends to. on whether you want to spend a penny. <laughs> that is true. So what I've got this time, because I wanted to show you again, if you've already got some pieces done, or you've got, and you're really concerned, this was a real high shine. Um, this is, we did this before we actually worked out. It worked. That it worked in the mould, is while we were still in development. So this is a high shine grey sort of um, resin in the um, astrolabe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but that. so many people have asked me how I did this one, which you've seen quite a few times. I've sent it in for Catherine shows or sent the colour, a picture of it in. Um, and I've had to lie, <laughs> in a way, because <laughs> I couldn't tell you that it was actually done with the Mica Magic. Ah. But what I've done first is this has just been coated with black gesso. Yeah? So this is the only time I'm using gesso in the show, and it's because that's what we'd done originally. So I'd already prepped it. So I wanted to really age this. And again, this is where having so many colours comes it in. Does. So I'm going to go down, first of all, with a little bit of the, of the dark green. I'm using the brush, because if you can see, the brush is getting into all of those detailed areas. And it's already making it... Look at that. Shine already. So now I'm going to go in with a bit of gold just to give the metal. So I'm going in with a little bit of gold again on the brush because I'm going into detailed areas. And that's what I love is the, the, the different ways that you can apply this. That's the thing, use your fingers, use adorbers, you can use brushes, but it, it feels like a paste, but then when you use a brush, it turns into a powder. Yeah, but it looks, you can see almost how it's fading out from the edge. So again, I'm going to go in with... That, oh, now on there now looks like a gilding wax. Yeah. So I'm going in now into the seam with the brush again, but with the darker green. So I'm using the darker green from the winter set. 
So just going, it, it, it's no skill. It's genuinely no skill because normally, if I was trying to do this with gilding wax, so far I've used two colours. So I would need two colours, fair enough. But I'd also have had to wipe my fingers twice. Because no, I'd have used my yeah. fingers. And how am I going to get them into those little fine bits there? You never would. So suddenly it's going from green to gold. I'm going to cover this bit. So let's grab my goldy door, I'll grab a new one. So I'm going to grab this sort of goldy colour. So, again, Look at that. gilding wax. So I can go in now. Remember I said a little bit of red, a little bit of copper. So now I'm on to four colours, I think. In with the green. There's your fourth, there's your fifth. You can still see all the colours that are there, though. But now, let's go in with this copper on here. Suddenly, when I start, and again, I'd use my finger here, because I want it in the highlighted areas. But I know you'd look at this and go, well, do you know what? You could, you know, this would, that should take hours. But again, so I've put a red colour down. Now I'm going to go with the gold. And I'm almost overcoating it does that make sense yeah like building up the layers like building up because of course it changes the color every time so now in with some and of we the don't green need to buff them or no we don't have to do anything so now in with a little bit of the green so i'm just using four or five colors so i would have now four or five colors on this then in with the copper color so just sorry show you the green see look at that how that's, that's aging already, already. In with the copper colour because that, that's what the green turns, but I found it's easier to do it this way. And then again, a little bit more green in with the copper and finish off with almost a brighter green over the top. Oh, look at this. Coming on from that. It started live great, black gesso on the top. First time we've used gesso all day. Yep. Because we weren't, we've now realised that if you wanted it in theory, you could go in with your base coat straight into your mould, the colour you wanted to start it with, so it necessarily wouldn't well, be Well, what I would do now is if I had this mould on me, I would be putting down this gold and this copper into the mould. And that's where we would come out. And that's where I would get the base, and that's how I've got more of the goldy base on this one. It went but you can the see... Getting there. It's going that way because, of course, what's on here now seems weird. But this is what you probably would never buy to do this. We've used gold, copper, and green. Let's say we've just used those yeah. three. That's what you'd expect to do to give yourself a verdigris. But when I want to age it, what I actually need is silver. Really? Yeah. Because what that does is knocks everything back. And wait until I hold this one up of the layer suddenly oh yeah it does that takes it that green's really annoying me <laughs> there but see when i'm building the layers some little flecks of gold then going back through it over the top of the silver but can you imagine how much gilding wax i'd have how much gilding wax would be on this now well there'll be a lot but you also wouldn't have the colors no. so i've never seen a gold a green gilding wax you can get it. You, you can. But you may yeah. be able to, but I know I've only ever yeah. sold the three, pr like the th your gold, your silvers and your bronzes on the channel. But start, see again, now because of the silver, which you wouldn't expect, it's getting to look. Look at that. Like that. You but you wouldn't think that was out. from just a piece of grey, quick dry, quick setting piece. That's how easy this is to use for anybody. And of course, the only tools have been a brush and one finger. Yeah, Not cleaning it. in between. None of those are contaminated. No, they're not. In the slightest. And you've seen how I've been hammering it today. Mm -hmm. Literally, so none of them are contaminated. And it doesn't matter. I could actually turn around and go, do you know what, now, with that same finger, I'm going some red. My finger's now red, none in there. And flick. But you see, once you've got that coat on... I love it. I love the concept that you can just, just keep. doesn't change. If you're a beginner, you haven't got to be scared of cross-contamination, because that's a big thing. 
uh, with using your inks and oh, things like that. Oh, we've all wrecked things. Yeah. We have all literally Everyone wrecked things. Everyone gets scared and you get scared of doing it, so you, you wipe every time you be, you're, you have to become a clean crafter. With this, just enjoy the process. Just enjoy the process. 42 pounds, 47 pence, but that's going to get your doorbells as well if you want your 40 doorbells, uh, but it is limited stock. We've got three minutes left of this show uh, before I close the lids on the pallets forever. Uh, let me show you these before the end of the hour because this sums up what you can do on black and gold and also on your resins as well. Uh, this is your... What colour is this one? Summer? That winter. is winter. Uh, this is your so winter. So you've basically got... It's almost Christmas, let's face it. Well, I hate saying in January. You've got three reds, three different golds, three different silvers, three different greens, three different coppers. You have, yeah. That's what you've got. So you've got them. basically five colours, three variation tones in each. And you'd only ever buy one green. You wouldn't buy three. No, that's true. You wouldn't buy three Christmassy greens. But if you're doing holly when it gets to that, you need more than one green to get it right. I like this one. And then here you've got your pastels. So again, you've got three pinks, three soft greens, three soft blues or teals, three sort of almost ready pink purples. And then sort of you've got the white, you've got the bright yellow, and you've got the brighter yellow, the sort of yellow topaz gold, which I haven't used much, which is lovely. It I've does. got how I nice love that colour is. Colorway. I love them all, though. These, like, wedding cards and things like that that you've got all the way uh, around the top. Uh, £42, 47 pence is what you're looking at. It's worth having a little go. Um, we've literally got five, six, seven, got two minutes. I've got two minutes left of this live hour, and that is it for your one-day special today. Uh, we open and brand new doors again for another brand new day special at six o'clock uh, this evening. Um, I've got to mention the happy hour one more time as well. Very, very busy. This is how yours will come. Uh, we are 80% of the stock uh, now has already gone oh, oh, of your happy hour. Uh, that it didn't quite work. It's, it's heavier than I thought, this box, every time <laughs> I pick it up. Uh, all this goodness, all this crafty goodness could be coming to you, but 80% of the stock has already gone of that. Uh, we've only got a minute left of this hour. Uh, John, you are back in Sunday. I am back in on Sunday, I believe, yes. I will see you Sunday because me and you for two Excellent. hours. Uh, for the Lockwood Lockup? Uh, Lockers Crafts 2. That's the one. Um, like, yeah, so, uh, so Something like, around that so weird. Like, yeah. uh, but there, two hour show on Sunday. Do not miss that one. It's worth having a little look. Check out your baskets now if you've got these on the show. It's been, it has been, I know I said it, I've said it all day. It's been a cliche to say, but it has been another busy hour. It's been a stonker of a show. It really, really has. You're getting your doorbells and you're also getting uh, your magic. These are magic. They really, really are. They will enhance anything that you've already got and make it all nice and shiny and sparkly, but it will also give you that professional look time and time again. Uh, thank you very much. Check out your baskets. If I was you, you can watch all the shows back on Rewind. It's worth having a little look at. Uh, jump to the website, tap the app, or give me a call. 0330 is your item. I will see you tomorrow morning bright and breezy. Uh, but apart from then, I'll give you the menu. Go on.